Tonight, an NBC News exclusive in his first broadcast network news interview, the young man behind the candid camera-like spoof that has caused so much backlash against the group Acorn. He tells his story. Acorn has now filed a lawsuit over his hidden, hidden camera video that got two of its Baltimore office employees fired and touched off a big internal investigation. NBC's Mara Schiavacampo has our story. This is how most of the world was introduced to James O'Keefe as a young video producer dressed like a pimp for a hidden camera investigation into ACORN, the community advocacy group whose voter registration efforts in disadvantaged communities were targeted by President Obama's opponents last year. And this is how I met him. Yes. As a soft-spoken, self-described radical dealing with an awful lot of new attention. We think you're unbelievable. It's caught him completely by surprise. Did you expect all these repercussions when you started? No. Posing as a pimp and prostitute, O'Keefe and Hannah Giles, a friend he met on Facebook, caught Acorn employees in five cities appearing to give advice on tax evasion, human smuggling, and you prostitution. If you're just taking money from underage prostitutes, oh my God, that didn't sound good. O'Keefe says he and Giles spent about $1,300 to fund their trips, though he won't say how many offices they visited. Do you consider yourself a conservative? No, I consider myself a progressive radical. Uh, I don't really want to conserve anything. How do you define yourself? As a journalist? I don't as an have activist? A, I don't have a business card. I mean, I'm too busy doing what I do. I, I, I let other people frame it the way they want. It's a controversial style O'Keefe has been honing since his college days at Rutgers University. He started with pranks, like complaining about Lucky Charms being served in the dining halls. As you can see, we're not all short. I mean, we, we have our differences of height, and we think it's stereotypical of, of all Irish Americans. And moved on to more outrageous political fare, like calling Planned Parenthood to see if they would accept donations to abort black babies. There's definitely way too many black people in Ohio, so I'm just trying to do my part. Okay, whatever. O'Keefe plans to release more Acorn footage in the coming weeks and has already started thinking about his next project. I would hope to be able to do more of these types of things and, and, and expose more corruption and do more investigating. Absolutely. I would love to be able to do this. It would be a privilege to be able to do this full time. His hope that this introduction to the public is the beginning of a long relationship. Mara Schiavocampo, NBC News, New York.